So it's been a while since the generic Flexi is out and now with 10.9.4 there is also a change in how you manage the configurations of the generic Flexi. So I thought it might be useful to have a complete rundown again to show you all the features in one video which are currently split up in a lot of different separate videos. So the generic Flexi helps you to map any controller to Bitwig which means instead of mapping in individual stuff per project. This is then a setting which is available anytime you start Bitwig and it's always ready in the configuration you set up. To use the generic Flexi you need to install Driven by Moss which is accessible on my website and it also contains a manual which explains you the installation in detail which is pretty simple. You just copy one file. You open up the settings page with the controllers and then you normally this is empty. Uh, I have a lot of controllers you configured but on your computer pc or mac whatever you use which os is normally empty but you have here this little button to say add controller and since you can map any controller with it it's not auto detected you have to add the generic flexi manually so this is done by choosing here generic which is the default and then you should also have here the entry if you in correctly installed driven by most then you see here the flexi as well simply click on add and then you have now here a new instance of Flexi. If you want you can also edit here the name of the Flexi. Just double click it here and if you use it multiple times for example and here I want to map an old DJ controller if you're lying around to show you the use uh, of the generic Flexi so you can also rename that for better identifying your device and then you select here the input and select the output and then the extension starts and you see a lot of configuration so but don't be afraid it's not that difficult there are basically two sections the upper section is a setup of your configuration there are then here buttons for saving and loading your configurations and configuration part for keyboards and pads and some options for that so the most important part is upper part where you can map your controller and to do so you have 200 slots so you can have 200 different mappings and these settings always apply to the selected slot so how does it work so now we have uh, selected here this controller it has lots of knobs and buttons and let's do something simple let's say we want to map here the play button so I press the play button and now you see here what MIDI event is put here on that button it's a note event with number 10 and it's sent on media channel 2 and then you can click now with this set button and then uh, you get even more options so we have now assigned what we received here from the controller to this slot 1 it's here the note 10 and channel 2 if it would be a knob you can also change between absolute and relative settings and here with the button there are two kinds of button one is which only push they always send the same message when you press it and the other ones are toggle one send different messages just try it and you will see which works for you let's forget about the rest so let's say we want to map play so you have here different commands you can choose and the play is here in transport so transport provides you all this stuff like setting tempo automation mode stop rewinding restarting all that stuff let's select play something very important is that you always need to store your work because how that works that you can change these slots this cannot be saved automatically with Bitwig and even if we would we would want to have different configurations so it's good to have this load safe area and it's also now a change in the latest release before that you had export import and select and now it's only two buttons so always press save and then you get the dialog depending on your OS so let's call that here the PG32J and if you don't add the ending properties it's it's now also added automatically so you can save and then you see the absolute path which you stored you see that also here this is then also the file if you have a file in here which will be automatically reloaded if you start Bitwig with that controller we can test that later on so it's now already saved which is a good thing and let's test if the play button did work so let's press the play button and it works fine also double click works fine to go back there then you can go on let's 
move on to the second slot so also be careful what you map that you don't override anything and it's also a good idea to save often here for the second let's simply say we want to change here with that knob let's turn that so you see it's a cc command we want to change the first device parameter let's again click on set here now it's important if it's absolute or relative so these are absolute knobs which you know the absolute thing let's say yeah it's an absolute knob and let's what we have here device device where is device here is device device we want to set the first parameter again just to be safe let's save that as well here and we're done and let's check it out so we have here a polysynth and let's turn the knob and you see the first parameter is changed here as well. So you can go on now, map the second, third, and so on uh, parameter. Let's show you a relative one. So these are relative ones here. Maybe let's use that here for transport. Why not? Yeah, it's number 10. So let's also first go to three then go on set again and then select transport ah, move play cursor here let's use the move play cursor and just to be sure click save and let's check it out and it's not moving the play cursor because this is a relative knob so we need to switch to relative and we need to find out which one of the relative mode is used. Oh, this already the first one works fine because there are different encodings how relative is sent. You also see that here in detail what the messages are expected and here the first one did already work. And you can now control with that knob, you can control here your play position. Let's see what happens when we restart now Bitwig. Let's close it down. So, and if you now open the script console here from a side panel, you see that it's already loaded here this property file which was the last one so transport is working again also you can change still the parameter so this worked fine uh, also note there are more options than these so the lower parts you can also have configuration for pads or keyboards uh, if you want to play them as well you have options here for different actions which you can select which you can also use up there then and you have have some knob sensitivity sense and these are also explained in more detail in your other videos but I think as a first run through it's a nice overview so far and uh, yeah map your controllers use them have fun and make some funky music